your experience at this camp meeting and the campsites? It was fun. Um, I also liked the whole river. Uh, it was it was good. It, I liked
like the um like the environment and the flowers. Well, I mostly like the river and in fact I very good too. Sister Green and Gloriana, how was your experience at this camp meeting? You want to go first, Gloriana? Okay, I was Stop it, stop it, stop it. You have to speak up, speak loud. You want to repeat what she said? Oh, you don't hear? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, she was saying that um, it was very good. She gets to go down by the river. She gets to play with her friends. And she gets to, to just to play, you know. And what else she said? And she said she gets to talk with her friends. So she, she enjoy she enjoy being here. That is what she said. Alright, now what about you, Sister Green? Well, um, the experience for me wasn't bad. I really enjoyed the part when I get to um, to work with the persons that came in. Yeah, that was um, really en enjoyable because I um, actually, I really didn't talk much where, where it comes to um, giving the lecture. I was glad that my husband was there because <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, he does very well with the talking, but I, don't, I, I really don't like talking for long. But I'm uh, meeting the customer, you know, it was, uh, I can't call them customer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, meeting with the, with the people there, it was very good. Sometimes it was slow and we had to go out on the road and actually call them in. I enjoy doing that too. Um, it teaches you to be persuasive because being a Christian, you have to learn to be persuasive. You know, you can't give up very easily because persons will... Um, you just can't give up very easily. In, in a Christian walk with Christ, you have to be persuasive in every single way that you can think of. In a prayer life, in even learning about the scripture, you know, you have to press, you know, you know, you have to keep on pressing on. But it was a very good experience. You know, when I came here, normally when I go anywhere, normally our family is the one that is normally the last one to leave. You know, but everybody, you know, everybody does put in and you, you don't normally get that, you understand? Mm -hmm. You know, you don't normally get that. One, the work, the, it's not, it's not rest on one person. Everybody, everybody do their part and that was nice, that was really nice. Um, I went to the river with the children. Um, I don't know if I, it, it was, it was nice, but I didn't really go in the water all the time because since I'm used to the river, but... The children really enjoy it. I enjoy taking them there and we had David. Man, he was a belly full. <laughs> but he was fun to be around. Yeah. He was very fun and you had to go in your bag and take out patience. You know when I, when, when so many so many of them come together but it was very good meeting everybody. Meeting everybody. I always hear them on here but getting to meet them it was very good. So, Sister Gaynell, how was your experience at this camp meeting with the campsite and everything? What is something that you love and learned? Okay, so how was the health camp meet? It was awesome. Um, I loved everything about it. I loved the campsite, the people. Um, I love the fact that we were surrounded by nature here in the river, here in the different animals sing and worship, um, giving their adoration to God. Uh, the health camp, I love the fact that I learned so much. Um, the best part of it is realizing and knowing that God's natural way of healing works. What I would like to share is that God's natural way of healing works. Um, whether it's the way that you eat, how you eat, what you eat, the things you put together, the 15 minute walks that we did at the health camp to help your digestion, everything works and the thing is i was going through something myself and being there for the time that i was um and living the lifestyle the exercise the digestive walks uh the meals that were prepared socializing with everyone i had no issues during that time so it definitely showed me personally that i'm sharing with you 
that God's way of healing works. So I had an awesome time and I recommend it to every and anyone to come to our annual health camp. So Brother Trevon, what was your experience at this camp meeting? What's something that you like and you like to tell others? Uh, one thing I like, we're in Nick. Yes, we are all in Nick. I like Nick. And um, I like Sabbath going that we were all in Nick having Sabbath worship. You know, I always hear a brother talk about it at church, but never experienced that until Sabbath one and it was lovely to be in nature um, for a Sabbath service, you know. How oh, they used to lock up in the building at all into the building every Sabbath but to be out in nature it was a wonderful thing for me. That was a thing. Uh, what do I learn? Uh -huh. Well something I learned with hydrotherapy I did not know that you do not just go and give somebody hydrotherapy like that you would have asked the person all and they would have eaten and based on the time you could do the hydrotherapy so if they eat like few minutes ago no it's not a good time to do the hydrotherapy it's like to wait and eat an hour or one half after their meal before you can do the hydrotherapy and that was an I that was something that I learned. Um otherwise my experience the fellowship yeah, I'm a, I'm a people person. I like to flirt, right? I'm a social person, so I like to social. And I need to um, get to meet new friends. Indeed, anytime I come to a camp meeting or any sort of the function like this, I open me friends. And not just new friends, but Christian friends that are rooted and grounded in the world of God. Because you can meet new friends, but they are not Christian, and they can be just free. So the, the I point about it, about meeting friends that like they are Christian and we can rap together. Yes, um, sometimes we don't always say eye to eye, but through the length and the word of God, we can know, you know, use the word of God of our standard. And I will end I can meet in 2024. Um, um, the two last day was another day for me. Um, the the health here, you know, helping people, explain to people. And as I was there at the water depth, I realized that most of the problem with us as Jamaican with water, we don't drink a lot of water. And so I encourage persons, I encourage myself that we need to up our water in faith, you know. And so it was a blessing to share. I like to share. I, I like to to the interval of person and then to share with them and so I like that and so it was a blessing being at this camp meeting and um, you know by God's grace we will look forward to another one at the last day. Alright? Yeah. How was your experience at this camp meeting? Hi Dijane. Oh, mm -hmm. my experience at this camp meeting, it was good. I enjoyed it. 16 days mm -hmm. of camp meeting and uh, you know, for the 16 days, yes, it is indeed a blessing to me. It is a it is a rich experience. I had a great time, especially the hands-on, learning to uh, get some tips on plant-based cheese, the burgers, um, uh, so getting along with each other. It was good to actually to meet new people and to know that they are unique, all of us are unique, they are different style and worship style and so forth. Yes, it has been a blessing to me so far and I hope in the future we'll have more camp meetings. Alright, it was indeed powerful and I recommend it to anyone. Yes. So Sister Koshe, how is your experience here at the camp and the camp meeting and everything? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I've met some beautiful people here and I was in nature and it's so beautiful here, it's so peaceful. I was by the river, it's the first time I actually went into a river. <laughs> it's the first time I ever washed in a river and um, it's the first time I ever went camping for two, two weeks in Jamaica. This is a new experience here for me. 
um, some of the spiritual lessons learned is to be content, you know, no matter what. And um, <laughs> I don't even know. Like another lesson that I kind of looked into was also quite a question, more a question, not a lesson. Is am I really ready for country living? Because country living, there are gonna be inconveniences, and I'm not sure if I'm ready. But um, it's something for me to look into. But it's beautiful. Met some beautiful people, and um, I can't say I regret. I don't regret the experience. Um, but um, I walk away with some good lessons. Some good lessons. But overall, though, it was a good. It was a good learning experience for me. I've learned some dishes. I've learned to be to improvise. You know, in the kitchen and stuff like that. So I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot and even some of the talks I learned I learned more information about health and you know I'm gonna implement those things that I've learned. Yeah. Hello Sister K. How is your experience at this camp meeting? What's something that you learned and something that you'd like to tell others? Uh, um I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I learned. But, well, I learned how to cook for lots of people, <laughs> right? And it has helped me to, um, you know, be more organized and you know, encourage me to get up much earlier. Because if I don't get up early enough, then I won't get as much that I want to get accomplished. And you know, if you're late on one project, then every other um, succeeding project, you know, it it gets messed with. So I have learned some organizational skills and I, you know, I've learned about dealing with different characters and that you have to, um, you know, you have to know how to deal with persons who have different characters. And also that we are at different stages in our Christian walk and we have to be sympathetic to some and let's know how to deal with different persons. Well, what did you enjoy from there? The fellowship the and nature. Mm -hmm. I really, really, really enjoyed this, um, this camp meeting. As I said, the fellowship, being out in nature, you know, and also, you know, going out to minister to those who are in need. So, Sister Brown, how is your experience with the camp meeting and the campsite and everything? Okay, my experience it was was a lovely one. I learned. There's something that came out to me. Didn't even know that was happening. So, I think God was teaching me to His um, creatures that birds, those blackbirds in the morning, they actually drink the water before they have a bath. They drink, then they have a bath, and it was so beautiful. And then what I realized, they did not come in a bundle. They came single, and every time each of them came, they did exactly the same thing. They drank, and then they had a bath. There's another thing again. I did not know that my testimony that I shared with some with one of the sisters would have been such a um, I don't know. It was a tow of strength for her because when she did not know that someone would have shared, would have been gone through the same thing that she's probably going through. Now. So my testimony strengthened her and I'm, I'm happy for that. I praise the Lord that I could have been a tower of strength for someone, that the Lord had used me in my strength, which I was told that one of my gifts is actual strength. So I thank God that I could have shared with someone was having some challenges and then she realized that she too can become an overcomer as I have as, as I have overcome the situation. This place is a beautiful place. You hear the river in the background? It's rushes day and night and it is so soothing. It puts you to sleep and it definitely wakes you up in the morning <laughs> through the mercies and the grace of God. The birds are always chirping. At night, you hear those street frogs, and they are just always calling and giving God praise and worship. And the air is so crisp in the morning. So the place is beautiful. And the fellowship 
It was awesome, lovely. I got a chance to meet others, different personalities, but they all blended together. And it shows you that God made us different personalities. And so we can think of it as um, some being his hands, some being his feet, some being his mouth, some being his ear. And that's how I got to understand how the body works, that we all come together and we serve our own purposes. And that's exactly how God wants it to be. He wants us to be, he wants us to be his body and we're supposed to work together in unity to bring glory and honor to God. So it was a wonderful experience to be here. And I hope this is this was the first, but I hope it won't be the last. Amen. So Sister Vanessa, how is your experience at this camp meeting? So I want to begin with just coming to, well, leaving Yushu Pines and um, having an opportunity to come to Jamaica. I've always um, talked about coming to Jamaica and didn't know I had this wonderful opportunity. And um, as I was coming in on my flight, it was just such a beautiful scene, you know, um, looking at all the hills and the mountains. And once we landed, it was such a beautiful, smooth landing. So I knew that everything was gonna go perfectly. And so just getting, you know, going through the airport and I turned to my friend, Cache, who actually helped me get here. I said, oh, I'm in Jamaica. <laughs> so I was very happy about that. And then um, it was a long, long flight. And not a flight, but the, the traveling was all day. And so when I got to the camp, it was around, it was night, it was dark, probably around seven or eight or something like that. But anyway, I was so, so tired, so, so tired. So I really couldn't see anything. I couldn't think about anything. The program was going on and I was just ready to sleep. That was my experience that first, the first day getting here. But um, as we got to uh, the campsite we were staying at, um, I got up in the morning and I walked around the campsite and I turned around and I saw all these beautiful mountains and it was just so beautiful, so amazing. I was just in awe. So wow, I'm in paradise. I'm like literally in paradise, you know. And I didn't know I was going to experience that, you know, coming here to Jamaica. I've heard a lot of things about Jamaica, but that was the most beautiful thing um, that happened to me my first day um, here. And so um, just going to the meetings, starting with the meetings, um, I, again, coming from UG Pines, and um, I teach the eight laws of health. I, I, I teach, um, stress management, I teach natural remedies, and and I felt like, it's okay, here I'm at, I'm at a, a camp meeting for the eight laws of health, teaching the eight laws of health, and I said, okay, God, what's going on? Why did you, you know, bring me here to this, um, to this event here? And I thought that when I was gonna leave UG Pines, I was gonna take a sabbatical and just rest and relax. But sometimes when um, God says, yes, you're, go you're going to rest, this is the rest that he wants to give us, you know, to rest in him, you know. And so meeting all the different people here was just, was just beautiful. Being around all these, all these Jamaicans, first of all, I'm the only American here. And so uh, it, was, it was just a beautiful thing. And I think that God prepared me for before coming here because all my friends um, at UG Pines are mostly Jamaican. So um, God prepared me. So I was I was pretty relaxed. I you know sometimes when um, everybody's talking, I have to figure out okay, what is where they say what they say it. Sometimes I can pick it up, but it was just a beautiful experience to be um, in this place right here. God just showed me all His beauty, um, um, and I believe, like I said, He prepared me for it. Even though I'm leaving you guys, this is the rest that he had he had gave me. Um, I'm fast forwarding to uh, the last two um, days where we did the health expo and um, having different individuals come to my station because I was doing the counseling part. Um, I felt like I was back at you guys because that is exactly what I do. Um, when the guests come in, you meet them, meet greets, and you do a history, and then you say, okay, this is what you know, we need to do, and we kind of follow through that with them uh, for the 17 days that they're there. And so just meeting the different people who have so many burdens and so many needs and, you know, and they're sick. A lot of people are sick and afflicted, you know, 
and I thank God for the opportunity to be able to, to help them in that, you know. So it, it was a rich blessing to um, um, to be a part of that. Um, I just I thank God. I mean, even though it's, it's over and it's kind of sad that, you know, uh, it has ended. It was a good two weeks. Um, but, of course, you know, my, in my memory, I remember when I came here. And now the memories of leaving is, is, is a bittersweet because I know that's time for me to go back home. But, you know, leaving Jamaica is a beautiful place. Yeah. I wish I could stay a little longer, but I can't. That's it. So, Dr. Morgan. Yes, ma'am. How is your experience at the camp meeting and the campsite? What is something that you love and you learned and you'd like to share? Okay, well, it was one of my most um, memorable experience in so many sense um, that uh, it was a blessing for me personally. Generally, when um, you're out to do lectures or preach, um, it's usually seen where you're going to give a blessing. But in totality, you realize that you're the one who um, received the blessing. You're mostly blessed. And so not only was the, um, the environment conducive for that, but also um, all the, everyone who was there. It was really a rarity where you can find everybody getting along, you know, um, the camaraderie that was there, the devotion, or oh, not to mention the beautiful river in the background. Yeah. Instead of um, bathing in the bathroom, I went down to the river right, and bathed. And that was um, quite a wonderful experience. Um, it really took a lot no doubt about it in the sense of doing the seminars um, I look forward to um, to completing it but then towards the end it was it was different it was hard to part with um, with those who I met there for many of the folks it was the first time we were meeting seeing each other but it's as if we had known each other for years right and that is what proves a point where the Bible say, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Christ cleanse us from all unrighteousness. It was that togetherness right, that I sense and experience and look forward to more um, like that. Um, as far as learning, sure enough, right, everybody came with their different approach, right, you know, different insight into um, things. And so that was also um, helpful. So um, if I say I learned a lot in the sense, that would not be true. But I see the different ways that people, um, others do their, um, do their presentation, you know, insight into a little here, a little there, and that, that was good. So overall, I'm looking forward to more like that. This is not the first, uh, but this one is very memorable. One, um, it's in Jamaica, right, where I enjoy being. It it's, um, was in a very natural environment. And also the folks that showed up, right, that um, they were very uh, receptive. And I would imagine those that were online also. So overall, it was a blessing. And I look forward to the next one. So, Sister Vanessa, how was your experience at the camp meeting, the health teachings and the health fair? What is something that you love, learned and experienced and would like to share? Wow, um, that's a mouthful. <laughs> um, my experience at the camp meeting and the health lectures that I attended was really positive. The attendance was good. Um, I think that as the days went on, it improved and I look forward to other ones that will be held uh, because the community, I believe, really benefited from it. When I attended the lectures, the lectures were just on point. They were led by the Holy Spirit. I could tell the presenters knew their topics and they were able to deliver it with confidence and with clarity. And I could tell that people were convicted. I myself was convicted on certain points and really looking forward to um, to what can be done in the future with these same presenters and maybe even some new ones. The health fair was awesome. Um, I always love health fairs 
and to see the level of organization and professionalism that went into this health fair, I was really, really impressed. I've done a lot of health fairs in the past, um, but this one just really came together very well. And to know that we had very little staff and it was just seeing how the Holy Spirit just really put everybody together. No one complained, everyone was just happy. And the people that came, they also benefited and they said that, you know, they wish that this was here um, and they would be able to experience it more and more and more. So that's a little plug for you uh, for the future and looking forward to doing more health fairs. So Josiah, how was your experience at this camp meeting and the campsite? What's something that the you love and you learned amazing. and you love to share? The view was amazing, the food was amazing. I loved the exercise when we went up and down the mountains. It helped my body to become more fit. On the at the health camp meeting, that was also amazing where we learned about the eight laws of health, where we also learned about what we eat affects our mental health as well. So what I want to share with you is to practice temperance. And be careful, temperance, which is one of the eight laws of health, and be careful of what you eat so that your mental health can be safe. So Rochelle, how was your experience at this camp meeting, the campsite, you know, what's something that you love and experience? It was okay, it was fun. I met new people, um, we went down by the river, we had camp meetings every night, which I had to take up and unpack technical stuff, but it was all right, it was worth it. And the last two days of the help fair, they were great. I wasn't there for one, but the last day was great. I think we had a, a successful camp, and I'm gonna miss everyone. Yeah. So, Matea, how was your experience at the camp meeting and the campsite and everything? What's something that you loved and learned? Um, it was good. It was amazing. I got to know new people. I got new friends. I knew a little girl of names, Dijene. I know I'm a fan of Dijene now. But um, even though I catch flu, it was amazing. And God healed me and the river, the nature, the sun, the walks that we went on in the mornings. And it's just nice, it's beautiful when you walk in the morning or uh, digestive walks. It's amazing when you walk through nature. And we got to swim in the river. We got to play and stuff. We got to, I got to learn about hypertension, diabetes. I got to learn about a lot of things. And I really want to become a medical missionary. It's amazing. It's, I don't really want to follow the trait of my mommy was in, but I love being a nurse, taking care of people because I love kids and I want kids to be healthy and know about that. So I love the camp meeting and got to know new people that I didn't know from before. Some people left, like Sister Gaynell and Tessaya. They were very sweet, especially Sister Gaynell, very sweet. and. It's sad that it went away, especially the food now. Everybody know that I love my food and the the ice cream was amazing, the cheese spread, amazing, the cooks, God bless those hands and they did provide something new and taught us as children how to cook it. So um thank you for this help kept meeting. It was amazing and I hope for next time. Oh and one more thing, the help here was amazing. Um, the first day, all I did was just blood sugar, and the next day, I did a half about foods and told about people how they can cook, and half about blood sugar because it's not that I love the pierce feel um, right now, but it was good. And I prayed with them and I wished for good results. Some of them were good results, some of them was not, but most of them was good results. So, thank you. Bye. So, Danielle, how was your experience at the camp meeting and the help expo? Well, my experience was wonderful. Let me start off with the um, first week. We came late the first week, but from what I got, the first place I went when I came here was the river. It was so amazing. The cold water, 
it was just running the stones it was beautiful the campsite is pretty the lawn the trees it's just so wonderful and last but not least we have a beautiful family here everybody just seems so close to me especially um Dijanae, Mathia, Josiah, they come from like my brothers and sisters and Rachel also, yes. And uh, for brother Gary and um, sister Forbes and also Auntie Gaynell and sister Georgina and sister Brown, yes. All of them just come like my aunt and my uncles and even my mom and my dad. And they are so nice. They're so um, patient. They um, are very very nice towards me and they even make me feel at home and at peace that even when it's time to leave I don't want to go away the way they feel me um, I feel so comfortable and even in the cooking section oh my lord ah, I think Auntie Kay needs to cook some more cheese <laughs> <laughs> she needs to cook some more cheese yes I love the cheese and Auntie Kay did a very good job they would incorporate me in the kitchen because that's one of my favorite one of my favorite places to be in the kitchen. So they always let me come in the kitchen and out. And I learned a lot of new style to prepare some good food. And this is what my daddy told me. Make sure so when you come home, you cook some nice food. Cause every day you in the kitchen, I cook nice food. <laughs> so yes. And um, I'm telling you, it's just very sad that um, Sister Gaynell had to leave. Oh God, I want to cry. And just like a very good friend, and he's also very smart and they just left and they left the first after the first day of the health fair yeah and it's just very sad that they have been. but let's just talk about the health expo now the health fair so the day one was a bit of sluggish but it was like a learning process for me watching people doing the blood sugar tests and the blood pressure and all of these things and learning actually learning how to use the the um the bmi scale and all of these things and taking item weight I, I thought I would never got out to do it and then I learned and Monday was very fast yes it was very fast so when Monday come a lot of people come and I remember I saw two ladies came and they didn't know what was happening they came to the camp and then the Holy Spirit was like go and tell them about it so I said hello and they said you know I just come out my car and I'm wondering what is happening over here and I said yes you have an elf here and it was like um oh, how much for it? I don't really have any money. I said, it's free. They said, what? And they said, okay, okay, what did they offer? I told them. They said, okay, okay. And they ran to the table and they were so nice, two sisters. And they, were, they went to the table and they registered. And then I just take their height and they wait. And then Sister Farf says, okay, you need to learn how to do um, glucose testing. And one thing with me, I don't like to hurt people. Like, once I see blood, I feel like I'm, gonna, I'm killing them. So yeah, so she said take the glucose, but the two sisters that I invited when I was trying the glucose on them, taking their blood, they were so nice. They said, calm down, man, calm down. I know it's your first time, calm down. And they were just encouraging me. And Sister Frances was like, take your time, man, take your time. <laughs> yes. And um, I eventually did it for the first time, the glucose testing. Yeah. And also, I, I never got to do the blood pressure, but I got a, a drift of it. I learned a lot of things from the nurses and the doctors. And one thing, oh, I love the ice cream. <laughs> I love the ice cream and the cheese. And I just, I just want to say that this has helped me a whole lot, um, mentally, physically, and also spiritually. Very, very, a whole lot, right? Um, and I'm just so sorry that we had to leave. I wish I could stay with this family forever. And there's just this peace that is inside. I don't want to leave. And it's just sad that we have to leave. So, yes. And um, all around, it's so beautiful. The campsite is so beautiful. The only thing that I never got to experience on the campsite was just to sleep in a tent. But that was okay. And it was cool. Okay, awesome. So I hope that you have, um, I hope that you persons who are not able to attend will go on YouTube and watch um, all of the different lectures and cancer and all of those things. I hope you learn a lot from it. Thank you. DJ, how was the camp meeting and how was the health fair? <laughs> the camp meeting and the health fair and the campsite and everyone, it was just amazing. 
I learned so much and it was just very emotional especially now since you know it's all over but it's not over you know it's the beginning it's just the beginning you know of so much more uh, we learned so much we spent time together it was very fun seeing people struggle to go up the hill when he was exercising in the morning <laughs> um, it was I enjoyed the the meals you know God bless the cook's hands as Matea said as well um, I loved the, the togetherness, you know, the unity of everyone, you know, you can see that everyone was really on one mind. I, I got to meet some people, you know, that was, you know, online on the ministries, but we got to meet them for the first time or for the second time. And then some people like Sister Gaynell and Josiah, seeing them for, you know, I haven't seen them in some time, you know. So it was, it was very, I, don't, I can't even find the word, you know, to explain it, but it was very happy you know the, the atmosphere was just happy you know i love the river you know i didn't get to go in the river as much as i wanted to but when i initially came here i wanted to go in the river every day we didn't get to you know but i did enjoy the times that we went in the river you know with everyone with rochelle and with matea and with daniel and everyone and michaela and josiah and um gloriana and nathaniel everyone and all of the adults and everyone you know it was i think everyone really enjoyed it and it was just it was just very inspiring to see you know hear everyone's testimonies to hear um the different i wouldn't say stories but stories as well it can be testimonies as well and with the different teachings that they were doing each night hearing them speak for the camp meeting um, the health teachings and then the health fair it was very nice as well you know being in the the media section the whole entire time but it was very nice to capture all of those memories and moments you know for us all um, and I really hope that everyone was blessed and as I said this is just the beginning so I'm looking forward to so much more happening in the future and I, I just can't wait to see what God has in plan for us all and I'm gonna miss everyone try not to cry but i'm gonna miss everyone you know it's a sad but it's a very happy moment to see what god has done you know what he has um came through and you know as everyone has been talking about the ice cream i love the ice cream too the ice cream was amazing <laughs> you know thank god for the hands that prepared that as well and yeah i'm just very happy for all the learning that took place and i'm looking forward to the future it's only up from here so Okay, bye <laughs> before I cry. <laughs> David, what do you like most, most about the health camp meeting? I like eating healthy vegetables. Yes? And what again? Also, I like the camp meeting. You like the camp meeting? Yes, and to share. To share? Trucks. Trucks. Amen, amen, amen. So do you enjoy the river? Praise the Lord. So what about the devotion in the morning? You like it? Praise God. All right. So we're looking for another one um, coming up on November 10th to 26th. Will you love to come again? All right. So we thank God for that. So brother and sister Forbes, how was your experience at the camp meeting and the campsite? <laughs> What is something that you love and you learned and that you'd love to share? You know, the Bible says we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And we believe strongly in that text that we can do all things. And as God said, he will never leave us, nor forsake us. You know, and we can do even greater things. He can let us do greater things than what he did as a medical missionary. Christ himself is, a, is the gospel medical missionary. And the gospel medical missionary is the right arm of the gospel. What I love most about the camp site where we stay is the fellowship, the wonderful fellowship with the people from all different backgrounds. You know, just come together by God, the Holy Spirit, and we just get the work done. You know, all of us, we don't itch. I just love the Lord, the Holy Spirit, that in His people, that we get the work done. What do you have to say about that now, Sister Forbes, about I the 2024 you. <laughs> camp meeting? <laughs> Tell to the world how it was. What is your experience there? Amen. At the campsite and the camp meeting. My experience, mm -hmm. it actually reflects yours. I am. Um, yes. You love it. Joyful. Mm -hmm. I am dumbfounded as it relates to 
words, finding words to explain mm -hmm. or to describe, you know, what was experienced, you know, during those two weeks at the campsite. It, it was the unity, the unity, mm -hmm. the fellowship with each and every one. It was just beautiful, beautiful, the worship. In the mornings you know. at 5.30. Hold on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, getting up, going to sleep at night. Everyone would go out, I mean, go to bed on time, you know, after having our devotions. Then we get up in the morning, we would have our, our fellowship, our devotions mm -hmm. together. We will go out to exercise in the community, and and while doing that, we also get a chance to witness. To what about those after in the community. breakfast? We have our breakfast, our meals together, and go out for our our 15 minute digestive walk. Mm -hmm. We also get ready together. You know, everyone come together to 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 load the car and you know get the, the equipment ready for the camp meeting. Um, at the camp meeting, everyone just pitch in and you know work together to to get the job done. We um, the presentations, um, beautiful, so much information to share. Um, seeing everyone come out, you know those in the community, and we were able to share with them, seeing how receptive they were. Um, that's that's more than words. Oh, say. all of us are chefs. All of us come together to do the get the work done in the kitchen. Everyone watch the watch your plates and pots. <laughs> you know, no no um, one does do the Stand work. Off, right. And some people are so just 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 respond for that part and all of us just fall in mm -hmm. also to help and it's a wonderful thing. Um we stayed for um seventeen days uh, at the at the camp um um site and the camp meeting at, at the in the evening at six uh, o'clock, six to eight. It's a wonderful thing, you know, and um, the teachings there about health, um, anatomy, and physiology, teaching you how to cook, how to take care of himself. You know, because God says um, he wish above all things that we in health and prosper as our soul prosperous. You know, and that is the above all things mean above all things, you know, top line for God, the high standard, you know, because sin and sickness have a relationship, you know. And we just thank him, God. You know, the people are happy. You know, we thank God for all the medical missionaries, Mr. Forbes. You know, we just thank him God also for all the doctors that fall in. We just thank God for, for everybody, people from Uche Pine. We thank him God. What do you have to say, Mr. Forbes, about that? And about your experience, even with the people at the health fair, the Amen. two days health fair. <laughs> that was a wonderful experience, you know, sitting down, you know, talking, getting to know um, people as they come in, the community at large as they come in. and they you know relate to you you're able to to counsel them on the the word of god the ways god god's laws of health his his commandments you know his word it was just a wonderful experience sharing the love of christ with others and we're looking for uh a next one a next health camp meeting that is coming up because people is calling from all over for us to do another one you know and we are planning it right now you know even the bittersweet that when we when it's over and um, we, um, the saints, uh, are to depart from each other, it is a sad thing, you know, bittersweet, you know, it will just feel sad, you know, that we're going to leave because it's one big family, you know, just do pleasing the Lord and doing everything as the Lord, it's a, it's a bittersweet feeling, you Can know. Can you imagine being in heaven? Can you imagine my what it would be God, like for everyone God. to be together? My Lord. Doing everything Around together, just worshiping mercy, God. Oh my mercy, God. mercy, <laughs> mercy. Visiting the other worlds, oh. you know. And in the community, or the witness in the community also going um, to give out tracts and to um, visit um, people, pray for people, you know, um, see the needs of the people, you know, and in the last, even the person at the El Camp site um, accept Christ, you know, I just thank God for the Holy Spirit and how he worked and we give him all the glory, we give him God, Jesus, all and our Father, all the glory, all the honor, all the praise for everything. It's not about us, it's by his spirit, and we thank God for his spirit moving in the 2024 El Camp meeting. We give God the glory. And from the Forbes family, you know, we just want to say thanks to everyone that came out, those who do the sacrifice from local and international, different parishes, we just thank And we thank us, thank also those who, who give um, um, charity to help us in various situations. I want to say, we, we want to say thank special you. thanks, thank you, all the thank people God that support, you. you know, um, financially, those who um, support in prayers, those who support in, 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 in many different aspects of it, those who give, 
those who um, give cheers, those who just bless the thing. I would say thank God for that. Yes, sister Forbes, yes. thank you so much. Thank you, sister Forbes, right? Thank you, everyone. Everyone, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank God, first of all, for you and your family. God bless. God bless until we meet again for camp meeting.